Welcome to Beer Factory. A massive thank you to Lurkit and the devs for a key. We're going to jump into a brand new game. I'm looking forward to this one. So in normal mode, you play with the gaming experience as it was designed. Francis is present. In peaceful mode, you will encounter Francis only once. He leaves behind a forklift upgrade part that unlocks the turbo. However, you won't encounter him anymore and you won't get the random bonuses he leaves behind, such as money and other forklift upgrade parts. The difficulty doesn't change the game's economy in any way. You'll be able to change during the game. So we're going to start on normal. Okay, it's looking really run down. Hopefully, we can make it a lot nicer than what it currently is. This game releases on the 10th of January for those of you that are interested. We need to put the electric back on, clean the factory, and do renovations. So there's a chance the factory's been squatted. There's a machine that we could possibly restore. So we have to open the factory's barrier. Well, there we go. Open the factory's office door. Let's make our way over here. We've got money at the top left along with rep. A level, I'm guessing. Make yourself a coffee. It allows you to sprint. Coffee machine? Make a coffee is a dollar. Drinking a coffee allows sprint during effect. Let's take a look at the fuse box. Do I not get to drink that a hurry up machine? Is our coffee done yet? Drink the coffee. There we go. So, this is the fuse box here. Find and grab the fuse. Aha, we found the fuse. It was back in the office. So, let's put this in the box. New tab available in the help menu. But here's chase the bum by throwing objects at it. Well, give me something to throw it in. Uh, okay, we... <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Uh, pimp my forklift. <laughs> you received a new tuning part, profane. Go on, Francis, get out of here. Take garbage and throw it in the bin. Is that our bin over here? Maybe this is where we chuck our rubbish? Yeah, there we go. We're getting points for throwing rubbish away. Buy your broom at the tool shop. Okay, so the tool shop... Uh, okay, the game's acting as though it tapped me out. So, use computer. Oh, okay, so we've got upgrades, delivery, contract, investor, forklift, employees, brewery, customization, global market. Uh, so the tools are $20 to buy a broom. Broom unlocked. Aha, over here in the corner. Clean the floor. This is all like stains and stuff. Oh, here we go. Whoa, what is this? Well, there we go. By the tool desk. How do we unequip the broom? There we go. By the tool desk. Um, $75. Where does that one go? Behind the door in the factory. Hurry up. I, I don't need a cinematic for everything. I mean, they're nice, but... I'd rather just equip yourself with a new toolbox. Open the build menu. Tab. Oh, here we go. So we have conveyors, computers, brewing tanks, yeast storage, bottling machinery, bio storage. $50. Where do we want this? Can I just place it anywhere? Do not have a set place to go. Here we go. We can place it pretty much on the wall. Validate. Use your toolbox and screw it. Oh no. Do I have to do this with all four of the uh, steel things? Each of the corners. But we're already getting tips and tricks going because if we go to screw on, if you uh, hold the bottom of the bolt it actually screws the whole thing in. Uh, find the first support. Well, I found it. Grab. Assemble the support on the storage. Reset the rotation. No? Throw it. Okay, find your second support. But can I just do it from here? No, that was close. There we go. Find plate. 
So you, you literally throw the, uh, the shells and stuff together. And there we go. Increase the rep of the factory to level 2. New tab available in the help menu. How would we increase the rep to level 2? Management mode. Machinery slot empty. Connected. Not editable. And then we're going to get points by chucking this in the bin, aren't we? Now you eat you from here. Well, there we go. New record as well. Sign me up to the rubbish chucking esports. Yeet. Oh, that was off the backboard as well. So we are building up rep by cleaning up. And then if we chuck this over there. Here we go. Wait, we've just got loads of money. So we got subsidies. We should be able to destroy the partition wall and renovate the machine. If we need more money, there's investors interested. We need to buy the new extension. First, I want to clean all this mess up. Right, so I cleaned up most of the rubbish. I'd, I'd like to say most. So, we need to buy the new extension. A construction company. Machinery room. Here we go. Oh, there's a lot to deal with. Industrial machinery. Grain crusher upgraded storages. Do we need that? It's only $200. The grain crusher is now available. Oh, and that's next on our list. That, oh, that's why we've got so much money. Well, here we go. We've got our first bit of machinery. Uh, refined 21 sacks of raw malt grain. 590, 26 points. Let's accept that. Order one pallet of raw malt sack. Make sure to order the amount you need to fulfill the contract. So, delivery, raw malt. I'm guessing it's 21. And then there's bloody delivery fees and taxes. Open the back doors and unload it. So if we exit that for now, open the doors. You must get the pallet out of the vehicle. Oh. I don't like the inverted controls. Hopefully I can change that. No, so see, I need to... No! Oh, game, don't do it. Don't do it to me. Don't do my nut. So now I need to back this up. Oh, this is uh, lift down. I didn't need to jack this up. Right, move the forks down. There we go. Now get on the stupid ramp. Can't drive it forward now. Move forks up a little bit, maybe. You know why? The wheels are stuck in the fucking floor. That's better. Right, so I should be able to drive this successfully now. We will get the hang of this. I'm just stressing a little bit early on. Uh, so exit. Let's lift up. And then drive vehicle. We want to move down the forks. Oh, here we go. We've done it. Power on your new grain crusher. Go on, truck. Get out of here. We got the delivery. That was quite stressful, if I'm completely honest. Oh, we fully knocked this wall through. And then I'm guessing another expansion would take us outside. Oh, there's just more rubbish bags. Can I not knock this wall down? So I'm going to come off the vehicle there. Clean up this. Can't open this door. Right, let me chuck all this rubbish away quickly. I need to go get another coffee first. Wait, what? You've received a new tuning part, basic structure. There was rubbish here, I cleaned it up. And it's given me a new part. I thought Francis was supposed to do that. Clean the dirt under the grain crusher. What do you mean? Oh, this. Oh, go away. <laughs> uh, okay. Refined one malt bag, some tips on the grain crusher tab in the help menu. So let's just refine the grain. Crushed malt. Oh, that's raw, so it's being crushed now. Uh, by the forklift. Let's go and do that. So let's use computer... Uh, where is it? Upgrades... Forklift, 500. The game's making us skin. But we've got proper machinery now, instead of that stupid jack thing. 
We're probably still going to have to use that for... Find the first fork. What? I've got to hunt for my forks. Export your first production. To do this, place your pallet... Well, I would do that if I actually had a pallet. I can buy a pallet slot. Unless I was supposed to use that one. So was I only supposed to buy one bag of this stuff? I just want it, I want it placed nicely. So maybe if I get this, I move the forks down. This has inverted controls, but the forklift doesn't. I'm just going to place this over here. And then we're going to grab these. There we go. So now let's drive this. Uh, what is it? It's F to turn the engine. Right, there we go. We need to put this in the trunk of the pickup. And this runs out of gas so quick. How am I supposed to get... Oh, there we go. My pallet is gone now. I, I literally needed to buy one bag of that stuff. Pickup's gone. Okay. Complete your first contract. So, contract. Oh, no. Two, oh, no. We do two out of 21. So, the pickup's back for more. So, we need to keep refining. So let's keep loading these onto the conveyor. Preferably not like that. Oh well, in you go. We'll grab another one as well. That was our only pallet and it's gone. So can I buy more? We can, they're $5 a piece. I'm going to buy a couple. Oh, I can just pick them up. That's so much easier. So much easier. Right, let's... Put you there. As long as you're in the pallet slot, if we refine it now, I go straight on. But we need more bags. We should get two from each bag of... So I did the right thing by 21. I'm guessing. But we don't have an indicator anywhere that lets us know how many we have in there. So we just keep refining. That's every bag put in there. I'm going to wait until they get into the machine, though. So I'm going to chuck this bag away. We still have a pallet out here. Which I am going to grab just in case it fancies getting up and leaving me for some reason. So now that's in there, let's go and process all of this. So I want to be able to keep an eye on the conveyor belt. The thing is, I don't know how much is in there. But obviously, I know I've put 21 bags in. But there's no indicator to let you know how much is in the machine. I like how it automatically put, uh, puts itself on the pallet. That's helpful. Well, that's perfect, is it not? Let me chuck these away, then we'll come back to the machine and see if any... Uh, let's see if we have any latecomers. So, now we've got all of the... Uh, uh, malt on the pallet. Let's drive in here. I want to quickly shut the engine off. I want to turn this off for a minute. I can't stop it. Oh, you can't actually turn it off. Stop, stop, stop. Uh, what do we do? Ah. Oh. Can we lock it? Oh, wait, is that locked? That's locked on. Oh, okay. So you have to use R to actually lock it in place. But this should be contract complete. I'm going to get a decent pay for this. Can I just drive through the tailgate of the pickup? I can. Nice. So that's all going to go. I want to make sure these forks are always down. And that's contract complete. Uh, engine off. Jump out. We've got the green 21 of 21. So contract. 26 points of... We're going to rep level three. Congrats, you've received $590.
You have 26 rep points. Next contract in 30 seconds. It gave us a bonus point. So this is 640. We've got to do 24 sacks. Okay, but we get a lot of rep for it. And then... I don't know what level we unlock employees or anything like that. Forklift, you can bonus unlock turbo. I, I don't really... I mean, I'll take it. We can change the color. It seems as though the color thing doesn't work. I mean, that's fine. We'll just have a blacked out forklift. Spoiler. Can't get one. Wheels, basic. Lights. We'll just Yeah, we'll do, we'll do whatever with those. That's fine. Uh, so, investors, contracts. We will accept that. So, they want 24 raw malt. So that means we've got about 24 of these. Oh, it's uh, starting us off with employees, I'm guessing. So if we put that away, switch to management mode, then connect a workstation slot uh, with your new pallet slot. Wait, validate that. So from that pallet area, they're going to come... I don't know. Hire a new worker. So I've linked that, this slot over here. I've linked that to... The uh, grain crusher output. So we're going to get an employee. And when we're bringing the malt out, they're going to put the pallet there. Maybe, I, I don't know. Let's just grab the employee and figure it out. Derek Johnson. They're passionate and determined, eager to learn the ins and outs of beer production. They're a quick learner, highly detailed oriented. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Seven and a half an hour, 50 to recruit. Let's hire. Then we've got Ethan Johnson. Next paycheck's in five minutes. What do I do with them? Where are they? Oh, hello. Level up your employee. You can wait him to gather experiences by himself or you can buy him a course. Oh, the input's over here. Export 50 crushed malt bags. Wait, so if you're over here, you're not going to go get it out of the back of the truck, are you? Right, fingers crossed. We can actually pick this stuff up. Yay, I did it! I actually did it! We've only got 24 bags because the contract requires 24. The objective is to do 50. Okay, I've hired someone else. The dude, the first one that I hired is just standing at the input. He's not doing anything. Oh, Francis. Why is this guy doing somersaults? Teleporting and stuff. I got him. Spoiler 2. Yeah, Francis, fuck off, mate. Making me use my last pallet. Well, as I was saying, my other employees, not they're just standing there doing nothing. I've, I've got the uh, second one cleaning. But I, I don't know what to do with them. I can't link them to output or anything like that. I might have to see if I can link them to a pallet slot. And then if I put a pallet in there that's got stuff on, they do the job with it. I'm an idiot. This machine's input is linked to that pallet slot. So he probably would have fed the machine... If I would have put the pallet there with the raw malt on it. I don't have a tablet or anything like that that I can use. This should be 24. If it's not, I'm going to be angry. 23? You're joking. Oh, go away. One of my bags slipped behind the machine. And I can't jump on it. I can't grab that bag. At least now I can order 27 more. No, I can't. I don't have the money. Sometimes getting the pallets out is awkward, but I've sorted it. 
So let's see. Because we can actually check this worker now. Oh, we have movement. Wait, I haven't turned it off. He does it! I figured out one of the employees. And he does it nice and neat. Can I just take this single thing and send it off? Don't tell me it has to be on a pallet. So you do have to have it on a pallet. Which was a waste of $5, but oh well. I know that I've got six in the machine. We need an indicator to tell us how much is in the machine. Let me pay the wages and then contract. Done. 640. 35 rep. We've unlocked the second slot. And not only that, we can get a sick spoiler for the forklift. Look at that. Everyone <laughs> wants a spoiler on their forklift. So we have to do 16 and then 29 for the jobs. We can do both of those because we will have enough. And now that I know how that worker actually functions in the game, we can sort all that out. And then I'm guessing rep 5 unlocks some more stuff. I'm not entirely sure. And I don't know if we can take both of these at the same time. I'm going to take the 20... No, if I take the 16, because I've got... All I need to do is order another 10. I might as well just fulfill them. I don't know what happens if you oversend. Like, you send more goods than what you need to. We will have to do something to find out. But yeah, we can order enough to do both of those contracts. But we're not going to do that right now. What we're going to do is leave the video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about Beer Factory in the comments. I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.